Basically what AMP kinase does is it responds to low energy states and it creates an environment where the body can thrive in a low energy state. And it does so by actually performing something called autophagy, okay? Autophagy means that the cells that are damaged or have organelles that are not functioning properly, like mitochondria that aren't functioning properly, for example, or they have proteins that are misfolded and just hanging around. And these cells called senescent cells or zombie cells, a lot of times can cause a significant amount of inflammation around them. And so these are damaging cells of the body, but the AMP AMP kinase pathway detects a low energy state and says, hey, we need to do something about this. Where are we going to find the energy with eating up our own cells and our own parts of our cells that are not functioning properly? And so that's what autophagy is, when the body eats up the bad misfolded proteins and bad organelles in the body and basically essentially acting as a waste basket and getting rid of this waste to then promote, in other words, more healthy energy, replenishing those organelles, replenishing those proteins and creating new fresh proteins, in other words, promoting longevity. And so that's how metformin can function in promoting lifespan, health span, and longevity. And I think at 500 milligrams a day, it's a great option for anybody looking for a little boost. Just keep in mind that metformin by activating the AMPK pathway does inherently inhibit the mTOR pathway. And so the mTOR pathway is really important for anabolic activity, muscle growth, and cell division. And so the mTOR pathway is important for wound healing. It's also important for people trying to put on muscle mass. For that reason, I don't think somebody should be on metformin all the time. I think it's a good medication to take for two to three weeks on and then maybe one week off. And for that one week off, you can give yourself more leucine, more protein, more weightlifting, and that'll give you an edge in terms of promoting your muscle mass, improving your muscle mass, and you're not losing muscle as you would if you were just taking metformin constantly 365 days a year. So if you use this bridging approach, you're kind of maximizing the benefits of the MPK pathway, but you're also using the mTOR pathway to promote a little bit of muscle growth and anabolic activity without constantly chronically activating the mTOR pathway, which as we know, leads to disease, cancer, and low lower lifespan. So it's a nice little balance there. And I think metformin definitely has some potential and some use for people trying to promote their longevity, promote their overall health, but you might want to bridge off of it a little bit to make sure you have time for some retention of your muscle mass.